Don't paint me thankless. Just have to say this. No, you doubt the way you move. Lost in your fragrance still makes me anxious. It doesn't feel right not knowing you. You never show me, you tell me the way that you're feeling. Feeling, oh. I never ask you the questions, cause maybe I'm fearing. Good morning. Welcome to my morning routine. Sorry, my hair is crazy, but I'm just going to do my skincare. This is the first time I'm talking to you all this morning. If you don't know what my job is, I am a social media manager for a marketing company. I have a hybrid schedule, so I go to the office sometimes two, three maybe times a week, work from home the other days, and it's really very flexible. I get to choose when I'm there and when I'm not, which is super nice. So today, I'm going to be working from a coffee shop, so I'll show you what I bring for that and just kind of my setup. Yesterday, I had some extra time, so I already scheduled all of the posts that, oh, I got some on my lip, that are going up today, which doesn't really happen ever. I'm not normally that ahead of the game, but I was yesterday, which is good because some of them are already up right now and I am still getting ready so I don't have to rush and I have time because I worked on it yesterday so props to me. It's now 10 o'clock. Ever since I went to California, you saw in a few vlogs ago, my sleep schedule has been off since then and I can't get it back on track. So I've been waking up at 7 or 7.30 and pre-California trip, I was waking up at 6 or 6.30, so I need to get that fixed. I'm going to slowly this week work on waking up earlier to get back to my normal time because normally I would be doing my makeup at 9, not 10. <laughs> that is too late for me, so we are going to get it fixed, but... At least this is very realistic for you. I'll share some work from home tips for you. If you are also working from home, I know a lot of people do that since COVID. So I will share my tips. I've been doing it since 22, maybe. First thing is actually put on an outfit. I don't do my makeup every work from home day, but I do put on an actual outfit. If I'm literally staying at home, it's normally leggings, but since I'm going out, we got jeans. So we are looking a little bit nicer than normal, but just change out of your pajamas because it helps your brain in switching from sleep mode to work mode. And that's what we need. Something I really struggle with is the afternoon slump. And I'm sure that you have experienced this where you feel way more motivated and ready to go in the mornings. And then after lunch, you just crash. And what I do for that is normally I'll do a lot of my computer work in the morning. This just seems to work best for me because that's when I want to be focused and more productive. In the afternoon, I will run errands or work out sometimes. Sometimes I'll work out in the afternoon. Or what else do I do? Maybe house chores, things around the house that need to get done. Obviously, if you don't have the liberty that I have, to have a very flexible schedule 
then you may not be able to do this, but you can at least do it on your lunch break to help prevent the afternoon slump that we all get. I know I've been there. Another thing I do is priority based checklists. So here is mine right here. You'll notice that there are stars and they're different colors. So I have green, orange, and red. Obviously, red is urgent. Red is things we need to do ASAP. Orange is things that let's let's keep them on our mind. Let's do them once we get the red things done. And green is when you have time, just throw this in there. So for me, red is always creating social media posts for our clients. That's always red. If I have a client that's waiting for something from me, normally that's red. Some things that are orange right now is I need to catch up on editing some TikToks. Nobody's waiting for me to send them these TikToks for their approval, but I just need to get them done because they were filmed the end of March and I'm almost done with all of them. So that's kind of an example of an orange one. An example of a green one is I'm planning our next content trip in June. So I have some time to work on that and schedule things with the businesses because it's the end of June. And I also need to reach out to some local people that we need to film content for. So that's kind of an example of green things as a social media manager. With this product-based list, sometimes I will be working on maybe an, a red or an orange task and I'm just hitting a wall. I'm like, I can't do this anymore. I need a break. So that's kind of where the green task can come in handy is it gives me a break from the big project that's in front of me, but I'm still being productive. And obviously I don't spend too much time on the green things since it's not as urgent, but at least I have that option. So like yesterday I had to email a bunch of business owners for something and it was taking it out of me to create an individual email for each one and writing a caption for each business and researching each business. It was a big project. So I took a little break from that and I edited some photos instead. And that felt very nice to have that break. So that's kind of how I work with these priority based checklists. Obviously, I have my planner. It's a Target planner. You've seen it in my reset videos. Pens bag, highlighters bag. My over the head headphones. I don't know what to call them. These are from Target. They are not fancy at all. It is now the afternoon and I'm headed home so that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, 
let me know of any other video ideas you like to see from me because I love to do this for you. And I'll see you whenever I see you next. Bye guys. <laughs>